Ricky Lake plays the woman who won't let the cancer that took her breast take away anything else in the new movie, Matters of Life and Dating. Take a look. I need help dealing with this. Well, why don't you try a support group? You know, I read online that... No. Was... I'm not going to be that girl, that girl in the room complaining to a bunch of women. No. What's the matter with you? You have cancer. It's not like you went in for a tummy tuck. It's okay to feel it. Thank you, Dr. Phil. Okay. No, you know, I need, I need something a little less intellectual and, and a little more physical. Yeah, I, I need a man. I need to know that I'm, I'm still sexy. Please welcome back Ricky Lake. Great you look, you Ricky. Look you did. Just what, what are you doing? Thank you. I, I've been working. I've been working really hard. I made a commitment the last time I was here, which ironically was this the day after you announced your pregnancy. Yes, it was. And now I'm here like the day before you're leaving for your maternity. Uh, you said you went leave. from size 24 to a four without surgery. This is what you used to look like, and you wouldn't even recognize. Can you get in on this, Mark? Yeah. Mark. Yeah. There you go. Here. Oh, yeah, man. I was. I was a big girl. I had a. I had a big booty. Did and you, you did it? And you, did it did. you did it all yourself. I, I did not have bypass, surgery. No. no, no, no. And I'm not against any of that. And let, I want to make some clarifications. I'm not against. You know, my whole documentary, the business of being born. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not anti-hospital. That's what we were talking about earlier. Yes. About the I, yeah. And I don't want to, you know, jump around. But, but I do want to say my my movie is really about women's empowerment of, when it comes to birth, and for women to have the right to choose the kind of birth they want, whether it's out of a hospital or in a hospital. Okay. But now this movie. This is different. This is different. This is about a this woman who had a mastectomy and feels as as perhaps some women do. Now I'm now I'm not beautiful. Now I'm not a woman. Well, I think all women can relate. I mean, I thank goodness have never uh, gone through breast cancer, or, uh, you know. But we all can relate to to beating ourselves up about our bodies and having poor body image issues. And you know, this woman Linda. It's based on a, a, a Linda Dackman who wrote a book called Upfront, and uh, it's her journey of dealing with being a younger woman diagnosed with breast cancer and mm -hmm. and also being in the dating world and trying to put herself out there and feel sexy and feel attractive. And it's a it's a real positive story, and I'm I'm thrilled to have been a part of it. Did you did you find uh, did you relate to this story at all? How did you bring yourself Absolutely. to it? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I, I you know I'm I'm newly single, and I'm and. Fortunately, fortunately, I'm on the cover of a magazine this week about, you know, my fitness routine and how I changed my body. But they kind of went with, you know, I'm desperately looking for a man, which I'm not desperate and I'm not lonely. But, um, but yeah, you know, it's like I think we all kind of question, uh, you know, am I at my best or, uh, you know, am I, uh, you know, it's, it's yes, I can relate to Linda and what she goes through. And yeah, I'm, you have children. Yeah, I Milo do and Owen, right? They I have a ten-year-old and a six-year-old. They're so big now, and you know the Wiggles are on. And I just yeah, told yeah. Jeff from the Wiggles, my baby, who's now six, when he was two, we got our puppy Jeffy. We named her Jeffy after Jeff from the Wiggles. Oh no way! Yeah. See that? So they are loyal it all fans. goes full circle. And now, okay, so Milo, you were was born in the hospital, correct? And then it correct. was Owen who was born at um, home. And at home. And on your documentary, the business of being born. And the last time you were here, we showed a clip, and it, it was this clip is of you prior to having. Yeah. Water with. I mean, you, if you watch the documentary, you see you birthing your son. Um, but we want to show it to you again because yeah. it's fantastic. It's a good, good My midwife reminded me of all the reasons right. I was at home and right. what, what I wanted to avoid and the gift I was giving my baby. And I was like, yes, you know, and I, I got through that, tran that contraction. And you're one step closer, you're one step closer, you know. Mm -hmm. At a certain point, I just gave in to the pain. I just let go and surrendered, and that's when things went really quickly. Now, I, I, well, I surrendered did you show also. show the actual birth? Because I didn't um, see I, I do show the actual birth, and it's a very, very, very small part of the, of the movie. And let me say, the, the but movie. But you show the birth. I do show okay. the birth, mm -hmm. and it's, it's underwater. It's not gratuitous. It's actually, I mean, I, you know, it's, I'm uptight because I am naked, and I am mm -hmm. 200 pounds. And, but I feel like it was an important message because I'm advocating choice in this film, and this was the choice that I made, and I was transformed by it. I learned to love my body through that process of giving birth on my own terms and not being saved by a doctor. It was something that was very important to me, 
And this, this, that movie is so, I, I'm thrilled for Why the world to see it. Because you were so out of touch with your body as a, as a young person being so heavy. Is that why? I, I just, I hated my body and I beat myself up and I, I felt well, like I... Would having a baby at home make you love your body? Well, I think the miracle, Control? what my body was able to do, you know, it was so empowering. But you can have natural birth in a hospital. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But I mean, I wanted, be, I, I wanted to be in my home environment and I really trusted my care provider. It was something I'd done a lot of research on and I was mm -hmm. I was so thrilled and, I, and, the, and you know a lot of people have been interested in the mm -hmm. film it's coming out in January theatrically but we're doing grassroots screenings that are popping up all over the country and I think women I think really too I mean I, di I didn't even think people were birthing that way anymore I didn't until I saw your documentary I thought everyone just went to the hospital so I think your point about choice is important yeah. I like to choose an epidural <laughs> um, so I think and, and I don't judge you for that I don't judge no. any woman and I think that's great about you Ricky because it's just opening up the idea Ricky like you became you are a midwife now no I'm not a midwife. You, no, okay, I'm a doula, not, and there's a, a big oh, difference. No, difference. I'm an advocate for midwives, and I wanted to become a midwife. A doula but is an advocate. Uh, uh, well, no, I'm an advocate with through this this <laughs> this this film, and I spoke at the UN just recently, and mm -hmm. I'm you know, but a doula is labor support. Is someone who offers labor support in in when you're in labor with a woman, it, mm -hmm. emotional support, physical support. I'm in the documentary. I'm also a doula in one of the yeah. one of the you know, scenes. What's something? What's great? You uh, asked the question. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I love how earlier. fascinated you are about all <laughs> this. It's so cool. I'm fascinated by you though because. Yeah. Now you're 39, you're turning 40. No, I just turned 39. Oh. I have a year. I but have one more year. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Believe me, I, I don't, don't want to add that year. Away. Idea that you you can't wait to be forty. Is that not true? I'm, really? I mean, I, I'm the best I've ever been. You guys, I am in the best are, place. I'm. But you don't want a guy. I do want a guy, but I'm not desperate to have a guy. I mean, let you know, I'm I'm not desperate because I'm lonely. That is not true. I am I am not lonely. I am happy. I'm at peace with my. There's another movie that you're doing where you play lesbian lovers with Sherry O'Terry. Yes, doesn't exactly help the situation. Well. Yeah, and, and it's actually a funny, it's a movie called Park, that, a little You're independent that's coming out. Boy. I've been really busy. I've been laying low for a long time. I've been on a diet. I've been working out. Jeez. And now I'm sort of back in a big way, are in a small a, way. Are you on a big, <laughs> I'm doing a big diet. I mean, do you watch everything? Yeah, I, is it I, portion control? It's portion, portion control. It's, it's common sense. I work out with a trainer. I Every eat. Every day? Uh, no, three days a week. Uh -huh. And I hike. And I'm, I'm just into just... Just, you know, having fun and How kind of... How long did it take you to go from, from... I lost 35 pounds in nine weeks, which was really what? quick. What? Yeah. Well, Isn't God. that enough a lot? It was a lot, and, 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 but I worked weeks. really hard. It was all about the premiere, my Trebekah premiere of the documentary. I wanted to reinvent myself and show myself. Did you myself. have a food service that gave you a little portion? I do. Fresh uh -huh. Dining is the name of the company, and, and, and uh, I don't endorse them. You know, I mean, I, I, I endorse it in that, but I like it, you know, but uh, it's worked for me, and basically it's common sense. If you shut yeah. your mouth, if you are conscious about what you put in your body, <laughs> right, you're going to lose weight. I work out like crazy. I work out. out, but it's not even, it's fun. I really enjoy you it. You realize if, if we shut our Miles and didn't do hot topics off then we'd get we get very so we can say one, one more thing one more thing if anybody's interested in the documentary they can go to the business of being thank you Ingram. thank you thank, thank you you, the, you, you you've lost weight you played a lesbian and you don't want a man and being 40 is great girl <laughs> and matters of life and dating airs tonight on lifetime and to find out more information about the business of being born log on to our website and we're going to be right back <laughs>